Greetings everybody! In this vlog we go in search of ancient Fijian history. In this particular case we are looking for petroglyphs. Petroglyphs are rock carvings made by pecking directly in the rock surface using a stone chisel and a hammer stone. Now it just so happens that I read in an article in the Fiji Museum magazine called Domo Domo of a hill between Ba and Tavua called Mangere Hill, on which are located these ancient Fijian petroglyphs and also something quite unusual, what is believed to be a stone sharpening mound. <sighs> okay guys, we're uh, nearly at the top of this hill. Now this, these petroglyphs and the, um, there are also these very peculiar mounds in the ground. Uh, both the petroglyphs and the mounds are possibly uh, from that same period of time where other petroglyphs were made in and around Fiji. There are very few sites left, although I suspect there are, there are lots of sites, but they still haven't been uncovered yet. So these petroglyphs we're about to see, possibly, I'm speculating here, there's no confirmation of this, but they might be from the earliest period of Fijian history possibly about 3,000 years, years old. But look at the, the view from here. Look at that, fantastic. That's just an amazing view. Uh, so my source for the information about these petroglyphs has come from an article in the Fiji Museum magazine from the 1980s. So these petroglyphs were last seen and written about and explored back in around 1987 or 1988. Uh, so this is the first time in all that time that uh, they're being revisited. So uh, onwards and upwards, as I say. There's Mikey there. There's Ons and Ons's son, John. John. Uh, we're basically the team that is looking into this aspect of ancient Fijian history. But look at that view over there. Are the famous hill forts of Vatia, but uh, you can see Nakalvandra in the distance. Nakalvandra, as you probably gathered if you know anything about Fiji's history, is the seat of uh, uh, ancient Fijian mythology. And 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 the other thing I, I haven't uh, mentioned uh, is that this area is surrounded by these peculiarly shaped hills that Mike always has a go at me over. He thinks I'm seeing too much into those hills, but I see a, a kind of... Doo-doos. He sees them as... 
doo-doos. Okay. <laughs> but you think the Fijians made doo-doo hills. Okay. <laughs> They're not due to hills, there is some religious, some spiritual significance to the ancient Fijian way of life that we don't know about. Uh, maybe I'm just speculating, but um, this is all too much of a coincidence. You've got the hill forts of Vati over there, you've got these petroglyphs on the top of this hill there, and you've got these peculiarly shaped hills all around us. So there's something more going on here uh, that um, evades Mike's <laughs> crude analysis of the situation. So let's, let's, let's carry on. Let's ask Freud. Let's ask Freud. <laughs> let's see, indeed, let's ask Freud, even Jung. Jung was the... Uh... <laughs> okay, so... So we're, it's almost... We've had a bit of a hike getting up here, so it's... Uh, we're nearly reaching the top of this hill. Uh, and then it's, it's a question of finding out where these petroglyphs on two boulders are. We're given quite a, a, a good guide from the article in in the uh, in Doma Doma magazine, but uh, that's easier said than done. So uh, let's carry on. So we're at the top of this hill, and the views are really quite spectacular. Um, now we we may have found we may have found one of these petroglyphs. Um, we're not sure if it, it is a petroglyph. It might just be natural erosion in the rock. Um, but we've marked it with chalk. Um, but look at this view. Isn't that just spectacular? Um, yeah, so we're looking for these, uh, we're looking for more petroglyphs and we're looking for these odd looking stones in the ground. They're up here somewhere that we've got to find. Okay, so what we're doing at the moment is we're, um, trying to um, get rid of all this, this pollen-like material. Um, we're trying to ascertain if there are any petroglyphs on this rock here. There's a lot to uncover here. It's just um, it's just so covered in vegetation. It's making our task very difficult. Finding more bunny ears. I think it's just me, the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> Not sure that's a petroglyph or... No, no, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. It's hard to tell if that is a petroglyph or not. done nice degrees on. <laughs> what to look for and how to spot a petroglyph versus anything Yeah, else. we need a, a petroglyph app. A petroglyph spotter. <laughs> Even from the pictures of the, uh, from before, I find it very difficult to spot what was actually there. Yeah. Okay. I think these are the two large boulders that they were referring to, Mike. Only, uh, the deciphering of the petroglyphs is slightly problematic, isn't it? What I suggest we do is we carry on up. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. Then we can yeah, work our way yeah, back yeah, depending yeah. on what we find. Okay. So we're not we're not completely done with this. So we we need to find those two mounds in the ground plus um, uh, evidence of other petroglyphs. So we're going further up the hill, just up there. But the view is just spectacular, isn't it? Okay. 
onwards and upwards. Look at the power of nature. This, uh, this tree has broken through this rock and torn it asunder. This is the power of nature. Look at that. Look at what this, this tree has done. I hope you didn't get me hitting my head on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, like last time, yes, yes. <laughs> So uh, keep your fingers crossed that we were able to find these two stones in the ground. You don't want to do this is your amazing history. See you, Johnny? Oh, yeah. So, Go over there, Clinton. Huh? Yeah, no, I think that's a crack. Okay, here we go. The what? John, stand there. You said you know I didn't do it. The new and the old. Who's old? Thank you very much. No, these are old. Oh, okay. It's referring to me. Well, you are. <laughs> you're, you're ancient. <laughs> so we found them. There they are. A bit more chalk, come on, give, give us a chalk. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's go. Max has been up here. Max? Yeah. Our dog? Oh, look, 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 look. This is the one that's on the ground. Oh, okay. This is the shape of the rocks that I think are down there. Good old Max. Yeah, another one. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and look here. Yes, yes. Naka. You've got good eyes. So, there we go, guys. Ancient Fijian petroglyphs. Recorded for the first time on video camera. There we go. They've been photographed before, but never before have they been, have they been caught on a video camera. And there they are. Highlighted with chalk, ancient Fijian petroglyphs. And there we go, we've got some more there. And here's the ancient, and here's the modern. Who is Max, and what is Max 2K23, doing? 2K23, but that's the modern um, graffiti. Yep. This is the old graffiti. I mean, what, what? Which one's going to last longer? I mean, what? What? <laughs> I mean, look at this idiot, he's written. Over this That's probably what the elders said about these <laughs> 2,000, 3,000 years ago. <laughs> oh dear, I mean, this is just, I mean, this is just this year, wasn't it? 2023? Yes. I mean, some idiot, sorry, pardon my French, but... Oh. No, it's the same thing as he, it's the old and the new. The old graffiti and the new graffiti. Yeah. Well, he it, could it, have chosen a different spot, couldn't he? I mean, why, why, why over, why write this 2023? Because I mean, he had no idea what this history was. That's our job, to tell it to Oh me. my goodness, that just, I mean... See? This is important while we're here. Oh, dearie me. So we're using chalk, which is a very safe medium, just to highlight these petroglyphs. We're using a very safe medium. This, this will... The, the chalk will wash away very quickly. Okay, just a quick pause here to let you know that chalk is not the best medium to highlight these petroglyphs. So what I did was the very next day, I sent somebody up there to wash the chalk off with some water and a soft sponge. He was. <laughs> Max he, beat us to it. Max beat us to it, but um, he's also uh, done something very silly and irresponsible. Anyway, so we found the petroglyphs. There's probably been more petroglyphs up here somewhere, but we've yet to uncover or to find out where those stones in the ground are. 
or what their purpose was. Uh, so we're going to continue looking. Um, and uh, oh, I just can't get over this view. Imagine living up here. And it wouldn't surprise me if there are a whole series of petroglyphs between the ancient Fijian hill fort over there on the peninsula of Batia, along those hills, and here. I wouldn't be surprised there are lots of petroglyphs, and that's a project that I would like to uh, explore in a future vlog, camping along these hills and investigating uh, uh, the, uh, the various rocks they have here for signs of petroglyphs. So this is just absolutely fascinating for me. We're, uh, we've got a vantage point here. We've got the uh, Nakovandra Mountains just over there, you, the Vatia Hill Forts, petroglyphs here, that view, and also I am absolutely convinced that these odd shaped hills, and there's one over there, and there are a lot more uh, in that direction, uh, and, and, and even in Vatia itself, I'm convinced that these hills have been shaped by human hand, by ancient Fijian hand, for some purpose that we don't entirely uh, know about. But anyway, let's go and we let's continue. Do hills again. Let's continue our exploration. Well, as I said, we're still looking for, um, we've we found the petroglyphs, but we're still looking for the, um, those, those uh, mounds in the ground uh, for signs of uh, ancient Fijian activity that we're not absolutely sure about. Okay, so let's, let's continue our exploration. And where's John? Johnny? Behind you, having his hand your feet. Oh, okay. Fijian bubble wrap. <laughs> Set. Myself, I'm convinced that these hills have been shaped by human hand, ancient Fijian hand, for some purpose that we don't entirely uh, know about. Anyway, let's go. He's on about his doo doo hills again. Let's continue our exploration. And that's where we're going. Okay, success guys, we found one of those. Oh, here we are. Look at that, look at that, that is a beauty. Now, that's one of those stone mounds I mentioned in the article, which could have been used for sharpening tools. Pounding and sharpening. Pounding and sharpening tools. But we're not absolutely sure, but this is one of those ancient stones, wow. Okay. Look, here's the sharpening on the side here. Mm. Oh yeah. And that's right, that's the, uh, that's where the sharpening took place, just there. Okay. Okay guys, we've uh, we've fulfilled our purpose in coming up to this hill to investigate uh, ancient Fijian history and ancient Fijian petroglyphs and an ancient Fijian mound. But I'm still left with 
my grand unified theory which of ancient Fijian history, which is that over there with some of the biggest hill forts in Fiji, located at the over there, the Vatia Peninsula, and these hills here, I'm convinced that they've been shaped, and not just over here, but on the other side, they've been shaped by ancient Fijian hands for some purpose that I don't know at this stage. And look at that. You've got Nakavandra in the distance, the seat of ancient Fijian mythology. You've got uh, all this wonderful landscape and it's just quite spectacular. Okay, so uh, we've uh, fulfilled our purpose. I've taken pictures. They're off to the Fiji Museum. And uh, this has been quite an event. Quite an event. I'm quite relieved uh, to found the petroglyphs and also the, the uh, what we think is a, a stone sharpening mound. But it's been spectacular. And it's been a really good exercise, wouldn't you say so, Mike? Definitely. Great exercise, Definitely. isn't it? It's all I'm here for. I don't like Azim. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our man here, our go-to man, the, the guide. He's brought us here from the village. Uh, what an experience, eh? Amazing, isn't it? Eh? And look at old Johnny's car. Johnny's come up here in his bare feet. Chee -chee. Which is, uh, he's done really well for himself. <laughs> Jungle boy. Look at the power of nature. This, uh, this tree has broken through this rock and torn it asunder. This is the power of nature. Look at that. Look what this, this tree has done. I hope you didn't get me hitting my head on there. <laughs> oh, you like last time, yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, keep your fingers crossed that we were able to find these two stones in the ground. Okay, success guys, we found one of those. Oh, here we are. Look at that, look at that, that is a beauty. Now, that's one of those stone mounds I mentioned in the article, which could have been used for sharpening tools. Pounding and sharpening. Pounding and sharpening tools. But we're not absolutely sure, but this is one of those ancient stones, wow. Okay. Look, here's the sharpening on the side here. Yeah. yeah. So that's right, that's the, uh, that's where the sharpening took place, just there. Okay. Okay guys, we've, uh, we've fulfilled our purpose in coming up to this hill to investigate uh, ancient Fijian history and ancient Fijian petroglyphs and an ancient Fijian mound. But I'm still left with my grand unified theory which of ancient Fijian history, which is that over there with some of the biggest hill forts in Fiji, located at the, over there, the Vatia Peninsula, 
and these hills here. I'm convinced that they've been shaped, and not just over here, but on the other side, they've been shaped by ancient Fijian hands for some purpose that I don't know at this stage. And look at that. We've got Nakalvandra in the distance, the seat of ancient Fijian mythology. You've got uh, all this wonderful landscape and it's just quite spectacular. Okay, so uh, we've uh, fulfilled our purpose. I've taken pictures. They're off to the Fiji Museum. And uh, this has been quite an event. Quite an event. I'm quite relieved uh, to found the petroglyphs and also the, the uh, what we think is a, a stone sharpening mound. But it's been spectacular. And it's been a really good exercise, wouldn't you say so, Mike? Definitely. Great exercise, Definitely. isn't it? It's all I'm here for. I don't like Azim. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our man here, our go-to man, the, the guide. He's brought us here from the village. Uh, what an experience, eh? Amazing, isn't it? Eh? And look at old Johnny's come. Johnny's come up here in his bare feet. Chee -chee. Which is, uh, he's done really well for himself. <laughs> Jungle boy. Okay, the terrain's a bit tricky down here. Going downhill, it's a bit, it's a bit jungly. Some of these, uh, some of this vegetation is a bit of an ankle trap as well. So you be careful as you walk, as you tread. And there's Mike there who's stolen the march on us, show off. Get this done there. <sighs> oh man. Should I keep the I'm done?
okay the terrain's a bit tricky down here going downhill it's a bit it's a bit jungly Some of these, uh, some of this vegetation is a bit of an ankle trap as well. So you have to be careful as you walk, as you tread. And there's Mike there who's stolen the march on us, show off. Looking at the stone there. <sighs> oh man. Should we keep the thing done? There's obviously a lot more history out here that needs to be um, explored and I'm convinced as the uh, the authors of that article I was telling you about in Doma Doma magazine they're convinced they were convinced that there are lots of petroglyph sites in and around Fiji and I'm sure there are there are so many more sites um, just needs just need, we need some effort to uncover some of these sites and not least from the government uh, to uh, carry out uh, archaeological expeditions uh, but uh, what we've seen so far today has really impressed me and here they are again as we're returning those are the uh, petroglyphs just there they're neither anthropomorphic nor zoomorphic so they're very peculiar quite unusual for Fiji but there they are the petroglyphs are certainly there uh, but um, the more pronounced ones are just here both have been marked with chalk but uh, still very much uh, evident ah. Okay guys, now we've come back from that hill, from Mangere Hill. I'm in the car, Mike's just uh, brushing himself down. He's delousing himself. Yeah. Uh, there's Johnny, there's John there, and there's Onzi. Uh, so uh, we've all come back to him, we're all intact. 
Uh, no, no complaints. Just had the most amazing, amazing time looking at um, ancient Fijian history. So, uh, with those final thoughts, thank you very much for watching. It's a, uh, it's a goodbye for me, and it's a goodbye from him. Bye. Bye. of justice everywhere every land was arriving with love and prosperity and I woke up asking myself oh I woke up asking myself why can't we achieve a sustainable peace why can't we Why can't we achieve a sustainable peace? Why can't we have a sustainable future? Why can't we? Last night, I dreamt of an end to poverty. All nations were growing, all nations stood strong. Miles of understanding between one another. Politics and